holidays, chums. Well, it's still November, but this week all of the Christmas and uh, holiday celebrations are starting. So I'm excited because we are at SeaWorld Orlando and this year things should be a little bit more normal than last year so i'm thinking that we're going to be in for a really good celebration i think so too um they actually have all these booths set up here with awesome food we're going to go around eating our way around the park we're going to show you guys some of the awesome decorations and hopefully show you guys the fireworks show this evening at 10 o'clock let's go get in there and start our day all right as soon as we come into the park we are met with this awesome huge christmas tree that's in its usual spot and uh, already there's some really cool Christmas decorations. Like I really like these palm trees here with the lights on them. Very cool little vibe. And then there's all this garland up here with the little Christmas ornaments. That's one thing I have to really give to SeaWorld is that they decorate so much of the park. Like when we were in Animal Kingdom, I feel like you had the one big Christmas tree and a couple of other things. But aside of that, you would not know it's Christmas. We just noticed something, or actually I should say Mel just noticed something that we've never noticed here before. As soon as you walk into the park, this is a Starbucks, and it now says Coaster Coffee Company on it with this really cool little sign. I don't remember seeing this. Mel says she doesn't remember seeing this. Is it new? Is it old and we're just blind? What do you guys think? Did you guys see this before? <laughs> let I, us Please let us know in the comments because we don't know. I, I honestly don't, don't know. this being called Coaster Coffee Company, but that is pretty cool. Yeah. It is. And, and just so you guys know, this is actually a Starbucks, and I see that it's decorated for Christmas. Also, since the last time that we've been back to SeaWorld, a Build-A-Bear popped up. So this is a nice place to stop and get some souvenirs. It's pretty cool. You can go and take home a little SeaWorld shark. So yeah, they have a Build-A-Bear now, which was not here the last time that we were at SeaWorld. So one thing I do want to mention, if you're not familiar with Christmas Town, is that this is included with your ticket. You don't have to pay anything separate to come in. We chose to come in a little bit later in the day because the park closes at 10 and they will have fireworks. So SeaWorld for us is kind of like a half day type of park because we really only like to do the roller coasters. We definitely want to check out the food. There's a lot of like fun food and drinks for this event. But this is included with your everyday admission as long as the event is going on. And um, one thing I'm a little disappointed to see, I didn't realize Manta, the roller coaster, is not running. It looks like they're doing some uh, work on it over there. Uh, it looks like the water around it is drained. But we still have Mako and some other fun stuff that we're gonna get to do tonight. Now we are getting into Christmas Town. Uh, we actually just rode Journey to Atlantis and Kraken. And uh, now it's time to start digging into the delicious food over here and I'll show you guys these decorations. This looks cool. This always looks so cool over here at this time of year. The way they do the lights, that big snowman who's just looking at you like, hey. All right, so we're now over at what is considered booth number one holiday cheers. The goal over here is to buy a lanyard. So they do have a lanyard available. And right now for pass holders, you get $10 in pass holder bucks. So we're gonna try to apply both of our $10, which would bring down the price of this lanyard, I think, with it, and the pass holder just, I, I think the lanyard with the pass holder discount is in the 50s, we're gonna find out. But if we get $20 off, we're only paying about $30 for the lanyard. And you get two extra punches if you're a pass holder. So that's awesome. <laughs> So we have bought our lanyard for the day, or I should say for the night. It's actually nighttime now. It looks so great lit up over here. Um, but this little guy right here is going to be our lanyard for food sampling. For the pass holders, you get 12 punches. Um, we were able to use our SeaWorld bucks that we got for being pass holders. So after the discount, we both used each of our $10 SeaWorld bucks. It came to $33.25. I would say that's a great deal for 12 samples. So now it's time to eat our way around. All right, we stopped at booth number three first, which is maybe it's cone outside. They serve cheesecake in a cone. I decided to get the peppermint Christmas cheesecake and they serve that in this beautiful little waffle cone. 
I asked for a fork. I think you're probably supposed to eat it like ice cream, but I feel like I'm just gonna get it all over my beard and mustache, so I'm not gonna do that. That is so good. The peppermint flavor is not super heavy. It's mostly just cheesecake filling, which is delicious. And um, I dropped a little bit anyway. It's not overly sweet. It's delicious. Very, very good. All right, so they screwed up over at the booth, but it worked in my favor. This was supposed to come out as a sample size because we're using the lanyard, but I got hooked up due to their mistake, and that's fine with me. This over here is a peppermint frost. It is frozen drink. It has vanilla vodka in it, and it also has um, peppermint schnapps, and it has some white chocolate liquor, and as you can see, there's some whipped cream and some crushed candy cane on the top, and I have the edible straw that I asked for. I love these straws because once you're done with them, you can just chew them up and eat them. I had this drink last year and it's just as good as I remember. It's a totally refreshing drink. It doesn't taste overpowering with the alcohol because I would not be able to drink it if it did. And it's just like that nice peppermint flavor and I absolutely love it. And it is snowing. Oh, it's soaping. <laughs> it's actually soaping. So now I decided to get another drink along our adventure. This is a peppermint eggnog. So this has in it half and half whipped vodka and I believe some other type of like a white chocolate liquor in it and it's going to be peppermint flavored and they didn't give me a straw so whoop, very messy very good this is a lot stronger than the other drink that I had I definitely taste a lot more alcohol It's really good. So from that same booth, number five, I decided to get the lamb chops. This comes with uh, root vegetable hash, pumpkin seeds, and serrano pesto. Now, I'm not sure if this is gonna cut through this because it might just be a pick up and eat. Oh no, that cuts right through that. It's about as tender as it comes. Wow, okay. Let's check it out. I would eat a whole dinner of that. That is amazing. Oh, wow. Wow, wow. wow. That is delicious. Oh, yeah. We just stopped over at Christmas Comforts, which is booth number six. They've got all kinds of mac and cheese, except for not right this second. They're out of mac and cheese for the next half hour or so. Um, so we happen to be right in the Mako area. And he really wants mac and cheese. And I really want mac and cheese. So we're going to ride Mako, give these guys time to refill their mac and cheese supply, and then uh, come back and get some and show you guys what it's all about. But in this area right back behind me, you can see they have some beautiful decorations. All the lights here are just gorgeous. We are back at booth number six, Christmas Comforts. The mac and cheese is here. So I did go with the short rib mac and cheese. They informed me that it's not really short rib, it's more like a brisket. I said that is more than okay with me. This looks really, really good. They even sprinkle a little extra cheese on the top. So let's just dig right in. Oh man, this might be just a big bite of brisket. Hang on. <laughs> All right, let's try that. Yeah, this is gonna be a big bite of brisket. I'm gonna embarrass myself either way. Go. That's pretty good. The brisket's a little greasy for my for my taste, but it's not something that ruins it for me. It's still very good. I like it. And the macaroni's good. Yeah, I think that's really good. 
Next stop is booth number nine, Sliders That Slay. They offer a chicken slider. They also offer a pork belly slider. I decided to do the pork belly. So we've got some delicious looking pork belly, sauerkraut, and a mustard sauce on a pretzel roll. All right, let's check this out. Let's see how we do. Not really crazy about that one. You gotta be honest with you. And the pork belly is bad. It's just not good. What's wrong with it? It's all super fatty pieces. It's nothing but fat. It's actually just pork fat. There's no meat in it. So, I'm gonna give that a fail. Very unfortunate because I wasted a punch on it. Look, if you guys, I'm gonna take this apart and show you. This is just fat. I wonder if you can go up there and show her that she gave that to you, that it was just fat pieces. I would take it up there. I'm gonna and ask. do that. I'm gonna try it. If she says no, then it's a no wash. harm, no foul. It is what it is. But okay. and I don't usually complain about this kind of stuff. But that, I'm kind of not. I just don't like it. I think I like pork belly a lot, but there has to be like a ratio of meat to fat, and this is all fat. So I did go back over to the booth and they remade it for me. That was very kind of them. They apologized. I told them it's no worries, it happens. You're, you're trying to move quickly and get everything done and get everybody served and those pieces are in the bowl. You gotta, you gotta, put, them in, you gotta put them somewhere. Um, but they were very, very kind over there and understanding and they remade it for me. Um, no questions asked. So let's try, let's try this one more time. Well, if it's no good, we did get two extra punches, and I'm having a hard time finding anything gluten-free here, so... <laughs> That's fantastic. That's all it took. <laughs> now I really like it. There's some juicy meat in there. There's a little bit of fat, which you're supposed to have with pork belly. It's fantastic. Thumbs up. We are passing by Infinity Falls. And as you can see, this area is also decorated. There's a tree over here and some other lights. There's actually another tree down here over as you get closer to the waterway grill. And we have more decorations as we're going over by Orca Encounter and heading over towards Sesame Street land. So far, I have not been able to find anything to eat here that's gluten-free, aside of the couple drinks that I had. So hopefully I'll be able to find something. If not, I'll have to just go into a place and order some food here. But hopefully I'll find something over at this festival. But look how nice these decorations are. Everything is always so pretty this time of year. Lots and lots of bright lights. As we approach Sesame Street land, we can see the decorations. Over in this area of the park, there's just some more beautiful lights. And there's actually a parade that runs through here. I'm not exactly sure what time that is. Tucked away in this little corner in Sesame Street land, we have this other Christmas tree with uh, Bert and Ernie. Looks like Cookie Monsters up there too. And then hidden down here is little Oscar the Grouch. How cool is this? This is such a cool little section of the park. We've even got these little decorations over here by the uh, Create a Monster game area. The other very cool thing about this part of the park at the Sesame Street Land is uh, they're going to do some uh, decorations for Hanukkah and also Kwanzaa as those come up. So they're going to do a full inclusivity celebration. We're passing by the Orca Stadium, and one of the things that we did not do, now we're about to walk across the bridge, is they do have live entertainment back here at SeaWorld. So right now, if you're interested in seeing musical performances, that will be going on during the Christmas celebrations. And then another thing that's going on too that we didn't do was ice skating. You can actually reserve a spot to go and ice skate over here at SeaWorld. They have that set up 
as well. So again, that's some stuff that we didn't do, but if you're interested in doing it, that definitely is available. And look how nice that this looks over here. These beautiful decorations along the water. Yeah, this is like super festive right now. Everything just looks so nice and so lit up and so festive. All right, we are approaching Bayside Stadium where there's going to be a show in about 20 minutes. I think it's an ice, like a figure skating show and like a holiday spectacular. And then at 10 o'clock, this fireworks.
got to see the show, which was awesome. Yeah. And we got to see some fireworks, which were also awesome. We didn't finish everything here. Most of the Christmas Town stuff does not open until after 5 p.m. Correct. So we did come after 5 p.m. and we didn't get everything done. And because the food is very limited for me, if you're new to our channel, I am gluten free, so that's why I only had a, I got liquored up a little bit. <laughs> Beside of that, I couldn't really find food. Um, but yeah, we, we still um, have a lot of punches left. We got six left, so we're halfway through this punch card. Um, and there's some more things for us to see. There's more, uh, we didn't get to see the, uh, the Sesame Street Land Parade, which is actually at 6 p.m., we found out. So we missed that. Uh, and behind us, there's a whole Rudolph the Red-Nosed Reindeer walkthrough area uh, with all these displays. And so there's still other things for Which us to is see. Cool. We did see that last yes, year. Yes, it like was to very cool. It again. Yeah. So there's more for us to see, and there's more for us to eat and drink too. Um, so since we only have half of these left. We're going to come back and do a part two for you guys uh, sometime within the next couple of weeks. Yeah, this, uh, this is the kickoff to this event. Like, this event is going to be going on until the beginning of January. Yeah. And right now we're in mid-November, so this is opening weekend for this. So if you're interested in coming to Christmas Town, we thought that it was a really fun event. And if you don't have um, any food allergies, <laughs> there's lots of fun treats oh, for you to eat. And um, even if you do, there might, depending on what it is, you might still be able to find something. But there's entertainment, there's fireworks, and it's the, most of the park is decorated. So it definitely feels festive. Oh, it feels sure. like the holidays. Yeah, that was actually really fun. I had a great time. All right, chums, we're gonna pack it in and get out of SeaWorld's hair. Be sure to subscribe to this channel right this second if you've not done so already because that helps this channel immensely. Smack the like button, hit that bell icon to receive all notifications every single time we upload a new video. And until next time, we will see you guys at the parks.